This question is about the structure of some organic molecules. Draw the skeletal for, uh, formula for 3 methyl butanol. Okay, let's start with but. One, two, three, four. And butanol, that's the functional group here. I'm just working out what I need to do. So this is carbon one, two, three. So my methyl is going to come off here, and that would be four. So one, two, three, four. And then on carbon number one, I have a carbonyl. So one, two, three. And on carbon number three, I have a methyl. And just to make sure that the examiner knows I'm doing uh, the skeletal formula, I'll draw that. Part B, draw the displayed formula of C5H11Br <coughs> that is the major product of the reaction with 2-methylbut2-ene. So again, we'll start with 2-methylbut2-ene. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's carbon number 1, number 2. So my methyl is going to be up here. Let's draw that display because I'm going to fill all this in displayed in a minute. And then... Uh, my bromide, to give me the major product, is going to go on carbon number 2. So I'll put my Br there. Let's rub out that bond there. That's gone. And then, so the displayed formula, I need to show all of the carbon-hydrogen bonds on the rest of the molecule. Common mistake is that the methyl group on the side here will not be drawn displayed. Um, so, yeah, there we go. Part C, the cracking, thermal cracking of hydrocarbons produces molecules that are attacked by electrophiles because they have a region of high electron density. Draw the structure of one of these molecules that contains uh, four carbons. So the cracking of a hydrocarbon, so region of high electron density, this is kind of telling you that we've got a carbon-carbon double bond. So one, two, three, four, and it kind of doesn't matter where I put the double bond. So I could have it in position one now. Um, it's just asking me for this structure. So it doesn't matter how I draw it. So I've decided to draw this displayed. So this is but one -ene. Um I could have drawn but 2 -ene, or I could have drawn uh, methyl propene.